Yeah, we have the list. We know the 23 players that will be representing England at this summer's European Championships. Former captain Steph Horton will not be one of them. She hasn't made the 23-player short, uh, shortlist na named by Serena Wiegmann. Now, she's recovering, obviously, from an Achilles injury. She's been at St George's Park for the last three weeks training with the squad. She actually spent a couple of weeks here beforehand as well in her own little private training camp. Her fitness has been assessed throughout the camp, but the decision has been taken not to select her for this tournament. Fran Kirby, however is in the squad. Now, she hasn't played since February because of illness, but she has made the 23-player uh, squad. Now, it's interesting, obviously, you know, because, obviously, because we were talking earlier, weren't we, about the impact she can make even if she doesn't start. Well, Serena Beeman clearly thinks that she wants as many creative options going forward as possible. So, Fran Kirby is in, as is Chloe Kelly. She's only played five games since coming back from an ACL injury, and yet she makes it. In fact, all the forwards named in the provisional squad are in the final 23. In fact, let's go through position by position all 23 players that at the moment will be representing England at Euro 2022. We go through the goalkeepers. You've got Mary Earps from Manchester United. She will be the number one for the tournament. You've got Hannah Hampton from Aston Villa and Ellie Roebuck from Manchester City as well. On to the defenders. It's led by vice-captain Millie Bright from Chelsea. You've got Lucy Bronze. Jess Carter makes the squad, even though she's been, obviously been sitting out have some training sessions, been having individual training sessions, but she hasn't been a doubt for the tournament. She's in the squad. I'll tell you, the, the Houston player that can play all over the park listed as a defender. Alex Greenwood, Demi Stokes, and Lotta Wooden moy the Arsenal defender, who many thought might be on the cusp of the squad if Steph Horton was in. It's Lotta Wooden moy who will be playing at the Euros. In the midfield, as we said, Fran Kirby at the top of the list there. Jill Scott, a free agent at the moment after leaving Manchester City. Georgia Stanway, who's recently moved to Bayern Munich. Ella Toon, Kira Walsh and the captain, Leah Williamson, who of course can also cover as centre-back and up front. And there are a lot of options up front for England. Let's start with Bethany England, the Chelsea player. Lauren Hemp, tipped by many to be England's potential star of the tournament. Chloe Kelly, as mentioned. Beth Mead, Nikita Paris, Alessia Russo and England's all-time leading goal scorer, Ellen White. Let's find out what the initial reaction to the squad of former England defender Laura Bassett. With me. Laura, what's your reaction? Steph Horton, not in the final 23. Yeah, well, obviously, the previous interviews that I gave, I, th I thought that Steph would go. So I'm disappointed for her. I know that she'll be really disappointed. But one thing that you can't take away from Steph is she's given herself the best opportunity. She really can look herself in the mirror. And she did all the training, the individual training, um, the extra work, the load. She gave herself the best opportunity to. Sometimes it's out of your control, isn't it? The manager picks the squad, picks the team. As much as you can only control what you can. So she honestly can look herself in the mirror. She's controlled everything she can. Um, but it, it, it's a tough blow. And, and knowing her, knowing how professional she is, know how much she cares about playing for England, it, this one will hurt. How much of a vote of confidence is it in Lotta Women Moy and Jess Carter, though? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're young players, aren't they? Um, huge, huge, huge talent and potential ahead of them. Uh, we've seen them both um, play really, really well for their club sides. A lot of Weaver Moy also having a good link up and partnership with Leah Williamson, who's a massive focal point of this team. And Jess Carter, we speak about versatility with this team and, and she just epitomises that, doesn't she? Um, so I'm glad for her. Hopefully, you know, like you said about her individual train, hopefully she can ramp that up now. Um, but yeah, she's going to be so important. Frank Kirby has made the 23 players one. Now, you've been saying you take her anyway, even if she was, she was barely fit, but you must, you must be delighted. Yeah. yeah, I really am, because hopefully that, that's a nod towards we're getting somewhere and Fran's feeling good, confident, getting to what the medics are happy, Serena's happy. Uh, so I just think as England fans now, I think for Frank to be in the squad, it gets us all excited. We can't get too overzealous or too excited. You know, we might have to be patient with the minutes that Frank Kirby plays, but the fact that she's fit, available in the squad is a big plus point. Chloe Kelly's in as well. That's a lot of forwards and a lot of attacking midfielders going, going into the squad. Is the, is the balance, do you think, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think because, like I said, because the balance is right because we have the versatility. If we didn't have the versatility, then maybe we're a bit top-heavy. But like I said earlier, if we're going to do something, if we're going to make a statement at a tournament, we need to be able to score goals. We need to be able to change games. Um, we need to be able to be have a little bit of versatility in the way we play, you know, maybe going two up top or, you know, we just need to have a little bit of an element of surprise. And with the difference um, that we have in those attacking talents, you know, we can put a surprise on opponents. Okay, now we know the final 23. How confident are you that England are going to go far in this tournament? 
Yeah, I mean, look, you're speaking to the biggest cheerleader ever. I'm always, even when I was playing, I was, I'm always confident that England, you have to have that belief. Maybe it's the hope that kills you sometimes and is so disappointing, but I really do believe, I think with Serena, you know, we have a very well-experienced, educated, ruthless manager at times. Um, and I think she's going to know how to play all the different pressure points, the media, the expectation, the fans. And, and I think she's going to be able to lead the way and, and allow these players to follow. Well, there you go. Laura's confident about England's chances. We're going to hear from the head coach, Serena Wiegmann, at half past five. She'll be explaining her choices and explaining why Steph Horton won't be going to the Euros.